The following video contains scenes of violence, adult themes, suggested dialogue, and coarse language, such as shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, and tits. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Enigmatica 2. Uh, so, let's start with uh, today's episode as a little bit of an update. I've been a busy bee with uh, our power. I've added on to our solar array up here. I think I just add the three. Add the three. Mm, yeah, I added those three over there and I put on an additional three here because I didn't actually have uh, enough materials to make another a fourth one so I could make another one of these guys. Um, but uh, it is what it is. Um, I've been uh, also busy. Ah, I like that jetpack. I've also been busy down here with our farm. Jesus. All right. You done? Nope. Um, so I've been busy. I've got this little guy going. I ran a cable down from the uh, from the roof up there. I should probably actually seal that up. I ran a cable down from the roof up there, and uh, I also put this little uh, this little sprinkler guy here. Um, so that's uh, that's taking care of that. Um, it's this little sprinkler. I was really shocked at how um, how frequent it 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 sp like sprays and also uh, makes things grow. How quickly it'll actually move things forward. It was not that expensive and uh, works really well. So yeah, um, that's going on there. And then I've done a pretty significant upgrade to our power back here, guys. Um, so I I jumped into Ender IO a little bit further because I, I know the mod a little bit and we'll revisit a couple of these things. But basically, I've got a really big capacitor bank. Well, not even that big, to be honest. There's bigger. Um, but the idea is that back here can i actually get back there yeah i can Doo -doo -doo. Uh, so this is a multi-block structure and so all of these capacitors uh merge together whenever you uh put uh, put them actually down um and each of them is five million uh eyes and i don't know what i actually don't know what an eye is in this but it's it works out to five million of those of that unit um, I I want to say it's the equivalent to RF, but I'm I'm not a hundred percent sure on that, so I don't want to mislead you guys. But the idea is that there um, you can actually check this out. You can go pop, break one off, and now you have five million in your pocket, and it just drops it down to thirty. And so like you can just break these off, which is phenomenal. Um, and I don't know if there's actually a max. I'm really not a hundred percent sure if there's a maximum to them. Um, but I like the fact that it's got a little, little power bar on it. It also does uh, the multi-block structure, so you can just spread this thing across and have this giant block of power to to uh, to run things off of. Um, but uh, yeah, so anyways, that is a huge thing for us, and I'm really looking forward to uh, getting that going. Um, one other mini thing that I did was I uh, some of the ingots that I feel like aren't going to be as um, maybe not as important is the wrong word important they're still going to be important I think more they're going to be less volume um, I've broken them I, I put uh, different little uh, different size like the half drawers in here I may even in certain cases I'm look I'm considering going and breaking them down to quarter uh, quarter drawers so like it's a quarter of it so it's four items in one space instead of just the two um looking at it i think that might be an idea but uh i think if we get to it, it that we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get to it kind of thing oops kind of a... um but uh so i did that and then the other thing i've done because i realized how big an absolute ass pain everything's being um to mix down in the smeltery downstairs i finally just gave up and I, I i made a alloy smelter 
um, from Ender IO because this allows you to uh, basically get it almost everything you can do in here as far as um, like smelting you can make in this little machine up here um, I think there is one or two exceptions to that rule and there might be better ways of doing it um, like basically the idea is this this isn't going to double your ores um, but if you run it through something like that the mechanism machine first and then use it to this just as your alloy in um, you don't lose out this on the other hand does uh, ore doubling as well as the, the alloying however given that it's a bit of a pain in the ass to melt everything down and then this and that like processing wise this up here is a lot easier to uh to deal with than this is um i also have just realizing that i have a bowl of ender ios or and enderios in my my hot bar and i'm wondering where that came from i haven't eaten them yet if this is the thing I think it is, it teleports you all over the place. Oh, it's not the thing I thought it was. Never mind. It's good to eat, though. Um, so, anyways, guys. Uh, where's the book? The book is... Smashing the pot. Did I not claim this? Oh. Huh. Oh, I must not have cleaned this last time. Interesting. Uh, anyways, what I was going to say is uh, we're going to get into... Uh... Oh, you know what? I wonder if the inspector ended up with it. Like getting it as a quest reward or something. I don't know. Uh, either way, I figured let's uh, let's run through the book and see what we can do as far as, uh, as, far as these goes. I kind of want to tackle this because... Uh, I, we're we're still looking to expand our power gen. Um, it is going to go a long way if we can do that. And this looks super, super easy. So let's get the materials together for that, and we're going to go from there. Two of these. And there we go. Da ding da ding da ding Uh... You know what? I think we got a decent stack of those. I know we can make these easy. Eh, no, you know what? We're going to go with this. I actually have, you can probably hear it. I have this running in the background right now. Uh, just making a stack. Because uh, we're going through them at a pretty good pace. Uh, becoming better. Ooh, an advanced energy cube. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on board with this. Um, that's actually really not as hard as I thought it was going to be. We actually have one of these upstairs. Uh, we have the, the basic energy upstairs. You guys may remember that. It's, uh, it's actually on the outside of the building. One. Need two of these. Yep. And we need osmium. Can't remember how many osmium we needed. Can't be more than four. Oh, did I... Oh, does it not count? Or will it just not auto-complete because it sees this as a full inventory? Oh, I hope this counts. I don't want to make another one. And osmium. Ding da ding. Okay. Whew. I was worried that it wasn't gonna count because it was like a half full one, and in the book it's an empty one, right? Um, alright. Uh you go there. Wait, you go there, you go there. Lot logistical sorter, okay. We're not probably gonna use these, but we can make them very quickly. It's not gonna take very long. Goddamn stupid phone. <laughs> Sorry guys. All right, so we need to do this. Uh, we just need a piston, I think. That's the only thing we're missing out of that. Cobble. Yeah, it's cobble and wood.
Bam. Oh. Bam. And da ding da ding da ding. Yeah, we'll still take those. All right. Uh, the power of nature. Ooh, biogenerator. I wonder. Hmm. I wonder if this is strong enough to. Uh, oh, biofuel. I don't know how to make that. Crusher. Oh, saplings. Hold <laughs> your horses. We have a ton of saplings. Okay, as I was saying, I found the crusher. <laughs> I put it away when I found it. I thought I put I thought I plugged it in, but I didn't. Um Okay. So what was I saying I needed to do? I needed to crush saplings, right. You go in there. Alright. Crush away. I'm gonna have to put a muffler on that. There's no way I'm gonna let that run. And if, but if that's gonna basically make all the fuel we need, then I mean, I'm not gonna complain. Um, so, bio gen. Okay. God damn, that thing is loud. All right, we need a green one. Bam. Ba -ding, da -ding, da -ding. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right, so uh, we got that. This is actually pretty cool, though, because if we can... I wonder how much this outputs. kind of want to grab the... Um, grab some biofuel. Because if I can... Wow, that is... If I can set this up on the back side here, right? Let's just get rid of that. So if I set this, say, here, right? Oh, well, what's the chances I have a Yetta wrench on me? Hey, I do. We'll put that somewhere too. Nope, wrong way. That doesn't connect. Well, shit. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting to be told off by a cable. Um. Okay. Well, let's sleep and we'll uh, we'll try that again. See what we need to do. I oh, you know what? I wonder if. I use the the energy cube as like a, for lack of a better word, a converter. Right? If I do that, um, how do I do up? Is that the way? Hopefully. <laughs> all right, let's put this energy cube down. Right? Look, all right, so that connects. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. That's that's my chest. Wait, because if memory serves. OK, first off. Memory serves, you have to actually go in and like tell it to connect. Uh, oh, no, in this case, it's not. OK, that's fine. That's fine. It, it's telling me to piss off politely. I will piss off politely. Um, let's do this. Okay, that makes so much sense. Okay. So if I put a stack of biofuel in there, 240 RF per tick is not bad. Okay, so it's generating, but it's not accepting. So input. Okay, wait, if I turn this to output, this is gonna shoot up. The internal buffer shoots up. Okay, so it is correct. 
Okay, I'm fine with that. And this is going back down. This is going back down. All right, if it's going to do that, like that's not an insignificant amount. If I get that crusher, Wait, what? How the fuck did the door... What? I didn't know you could do that. That's really funny. I was like, how did the door start going the wrong way? All right. Let's do this. I'm going to put this outside. And this will... If this helps with the power... Because... Um, 240 RF per tick is not something to sneeze about. Given that one of these solar panels puts out 54 RF per tick, that's almost five times. It's like four and a half times uh, a solar panel. And if all we need is saplings uh, in this crusher, we can make this, we can make this happen. Okay. Where did the biofuel go? There it is. Wow, and it looks like it's actually got quite a good buffer at that. Okay, so when this is up at the top, it'll do, it'll generate. Oh, that's really interesting. Okay, so it actually doesn't even need to keep up necessarily. Okay, guys, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try to see if I can mess around and make like a little bit of a, a, a power generator here uh if i can get make it so this thing never runs out of um saplings whether it be uh jungle or oak or whatever let's see what i can do about that um and i'm gonna be back because this is gonna be if i can do this it's gonna make our lives a hundred times easier power generation wise i can stop messing around with uh solar panel creation at least for the time being um like that that'll go That'll go a long way to uh, to getting everything working. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to do that and I'll be uh, I'm going to see what I can do. and I'll be back. I got this connected up, so it's pulling any. Um, um, any. What do I have in here? Any wheat, only wheat currently um, that this farms. So actually looking at it and realizing there's no there's no wheat left in the farm it's been replaced with all the new plants i put in um that's problematic <laughs> may have to set up a little mini farm just for wheat but um yeah guys so but what i've done oh god damn it, it got dark what i was gonna say is what i've done is i've i've set it up so it will now make biofuel out of all the wheat in the farm. Got a stack of biofuel ready to go. This is going, this is going 100%. This is full. Everything downstairs is full. So I think we're actually, we have a net gain in power for once. So I was gonna say, um, I think we're, we're good. I think we're good. Um, I think what I'm gonna do, I'll toss these in. I'll toss in a stack of iron and get that rolling. Um, what does this one need? I don't remember. Steel needs. Oh, it needs um. Uh, it needs coal. Definitely needs coal, and I think it needs to be pulverized coal. So we'll toss. We'll get this going. We'll we'll see how much we can actually stress this system. Like right now, guys, it's it's not going down at all. Like it's kept it's keeping up. Like these aren't going down. This is staying up. I wonder if I get these two both going at the same time, if they'll uh, if if it'll if it'll drop. But I I don't even know. Let's get this going. Yeah. That's going. So now we have so much go. Whoa, wait, what the? Why did you? Why did you just burn? I feel like you burned something you shouldn't have. Maybe not. 
But, like, this is going... Oh, that's totally burning something. No idea what the fuck it's burning. But anyways, what I was going to say is at this point, we're, we're definitely at a positive with a lot of machines running. We don't have to worry about power as much as we used to. I think we're, I think we're good to go. Um, and yeah, I mean, it wasn't perfect, but it, it definitely worked. Um, and it, it, I'm sure I could probably do this a bit better as well. I think what I might end up having to do is set up another one of these just for wheat. And then the other one will be for everything else. So like what other foods we can, we want to eat. Um, so like the little, the kiwis, the cantaloupes, all that stuff, right? Um, the, the ginger, the sesame seeds, uh, the soybeans, all that stuff. Um, cause there's a bunch of stuff we haven't, uh, we haven't actually, uh, we haven't tried yet. I haven't even eaten this pineapple yet. Got like a million of them, haven't eaten one yet. Jesus. Here I was minding my own business. And look at this shit. Asshole just like tried to kill me. Oh shit, hold on. I'm gonna die. Wow, I almost died from that guy. Phew. I wasn't recording. I wasn't expecting this. I was I was doing a little bit of exploring. And this guy just like out of nowhere, well, out of that portal, just like started wrecking my face. I don't even know where he went. Is that him? That's him down there. Go kick this guy's ass. Holy shit, he hits hard. Woo! Oh fuck, another one. Whoa! Bitch, son of a bitch at homes. Okay, well, portal's gone. Where's the asshole? Whew. I like went looting this. I, I like looted this little temple that I found, another one of them, and this guy just popped out of nowhere. Holy crap. Ooh, this. Oh, is this what I think it is? Oh... I think it is. Oh, dude. I wonder if the inspectors found this. This is, uh, this is an astral sorcery, uh, temple. I wonder if he's found it. He's gonna need this. Hmm. Alright, well, what I'll do is, uh, well... I'm gonna, uh, I'll waypoint it, and I'll, uh, I'll let him know I found it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's, uh, pretty sure that's the astral sorcery thing, and I think you're supposed to put... Oh, that is a very weird looking peacock. I think you're supposed to put the, uh... Oh, you know what? Hold on, we're gonna have to get rid of this tree. I'm pretty sure. But there's, um... I think you're supposed to put your altar or something underneath this. I can't remember. It's been a long time since I've looked at anything on Astral Sorcery. But I'll let him know it's here, because I think he was looking for one the other day, and I don't think he knows what they look like. But, uh, yeah. I'll let him know this is here. But now, at least now I can see the sky, which I think is a big... I think that's a big part of it, is it needs to be able to see the sky. But whatever. I don't, I don't know a lot about Astral. I'll leave it up to him. Um, 
So anyways, guys, I think this is where we're going to wrap it. Uh, I'm going to head back after, uh, after I light this place up. And uh, yeah, I'm going to let the inspector know that I found this thing. I thought I found one over there and I marked it, but then realized that it's actually just like a ruined one. It didn't like spawn properly. Um, this one, on the other hand, this one spawned perfectly. So I'll let them know. Um, but with that, guys, I'd love if you leave a like on this for me if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're not. Ring that bell if you haven't. And I'll see you all in the next episode. Cheers.